on behalf of vedavyasa institute of technology i am saumya k assistant professor electrical and electronics engineering department now i am going to talk about the solar thermal systems solar thermal systems collect and concentrate sunlight to produce the high temperature heat needed to generate electricity all solar thermal power systems have solar energy collectors with the two main components reflectors that capture and focus sunlight onto a receiver in most systems a heat transfer fluid is heated and circulated in the receiver and used to produce steam the steam produced is converted into mechanical energy in a turbine which powers a generator to produce electricity this is the principle of conversion of solar energy radiation into heat solar thermal collectors a device used for collecting solar radiation and transferring the energy to a fluid passing in contact with it these are the solar thermal collectors the classification of solar thermal collectors are non concentrating collectors and concentrating collectors in non concentrating collector collector area equal to absorber area in concentrating collector collector area greater than absorber area examples of concentrating collectors are parabolic trough collector parabolic dish collector central tower receiver collector first one is a flat plate solar thermal collector it is made in rectangular panels they are collect and direct as well as diffused radiation the main components are transparent cover absorber plate tubes carrying heat transfer fluid insulation and casing the glass cover is transparent to incoming solar radiation and opaque to ir radiation reflections from glass can be minimized by coating with the magnesium fluoride absorber can be made up of copper steel or aluminium a solar radiation falls on the absorber it is absorbed and temperature of absorber increases tubes carrying in the heat transfer fluid are in contact with the absorber the tubes are connected to common headers water enters through the bottom header flows upward and get warmed by the heat in the absorber hot water flows out from the top header the main advantage is that it collect both direct and diffused radiation they do not require sun tracking system it is mechanically strong to withstand atmospheric conditions simple in construction and require less maintenance the main limitations are possibility of freezing of water inside the tubes during cold climate or cold nights corrosion of metal tubes by water solar concentrators radiation falling on a relatively large area is focused on to an absorber of considerably smaller area thus it collects solar radiation with a high intensity they uses optical system in the form of reflectors and refractors due to the concentration of solar energy fluid can be heated up to a temperature of 500 degree celsius they collect direct radiation only the types of concentrating collectors or solar concentrators are parabolic trough collector parabolic dish collector and central tower collector these are the parabolic trough collector so cross sectional area of a parabolic trough collector parabolic troughs are devices that are shaped like letter u the troughs are concentrated sunlight onto a receiver tubes that is positioned along the focal line of the trough sometimes a transparent glass tube envelops the receiver tube to reduce the heat parabolic trough reflectors have been made of highly polished aluminum or silvered glass or a thin film of aluminized plastic or a firm base parabolic trough collector for the solar radiation to be brought to a focus by parabolic trough collector the sun must be in such a direction that is lies in the plane passing through the focal line and the vertex in order to collect the direction radiation the collector should track the sun chain drive and jack shaft trough type collectors are generally oriented in the east west or north south directions second one is a parabolic dish collector this is a cross sectional area of a parabolic dish collector a point focused collector has a dish of shape of a parabola that is a surface produced when a parabola is rotated about its axis 
the paraboloidal surface can concentrate all incident radiation parallel to its axis to a point focus where the receiver tube is positioned. In order to ensure proper incidence of radiation, the parabolic dish collector should be provided with two axis tracking. By rotating the support structure above the vertical axis, the dish is rotated above the horizontal axis for elevation. Last one is a central tower collectors. In this type of collectors, the receiver is located at the top of a tower and the solar radiation is reflected on it from many independently con controlled flat mirrors called heliostats. The heliostats can be moved independently about two axes so that the reflected solar radiation is always directed towards the absorber mounted on a tower as shown in the figure. The heliocytes are sp uh, spread over a large area on a ground. Number of heliocytes can be high as thousands and simultaneously track the sun to reflect the solar radiation. These heliocytes together act as a large paraboloidal dish collector. The solar radiation at the receiver is converted into heat. This is a comparison between flat plate collector and solar concentrators. Solar electric systems. This is a general idea about the solar thermal electric power generation. Solar thermal power generation system uses mirrors to collect sunlight and produce steam by a solar heat to drive turbine for generating power. This system generates power by a rotating turbines like a thermal and nuclear power plants and therefore is suitable for large scale power generation. These are the three types of parabolic uh, trough system, parabolic dishes.